Hello everyone, happy Sunday as well as welcome back to the speaker Sunday. In one of the prior episodes, we tried to learn and get a basic understanding of what is artificial intelligence, what is machine learning and what is algorithm and how they are related to each other. Also, we got to know that there are 14 types of learnings available under machine learning and out of which most popular are first supervised learning, second unsupervised learning and third one is reinforcement learning. Today, let's go ahead and explore little more about unsupervised learning and supervised learning. So whenever we talk about this supervised or unsupervised learning, we know that unsupervised learning uses the labeled, unlabeled data and supervised learning uses the labeled data. So the question is, what is this labeled data and what is this unlabeled data? Typically, unlabeled data consists of natural or human created artifacts which can be obtained from like you know open sources or anywhere from the world example for, uh, for these unlabeled data could be images photos videos audio recordings uh, tweets news articles x-rays if you are in a you, if you are a medical practitioner so all this data if you see it is only a data and there is nothing kind of explanation for each piece of that unlabeled data so it contains only the data nothing else versus what is this labeled data so labeled data always uses this unlabeled data and tries to augment each piece of this unlabeled data into you know something meaningful like labels tags or classes so example of uh, as i mentioned earlier examples of the unlabeled data if we think about labeling that unlabeled data then uh, definitely the labeled data would classify it like you know whether that picture is of cow or a horse or the dot present in those x-rays whether it is a tumor or something else or what kind of a text uttered in the audio recordings or what kind of action is performed in the videos so that is nothing but a labeled data so anyhow you try to uh, get, take a some kind of a information and make it more knowledgeable or informative or desirable to know kind of a data so it is always that you would like to classify them into separate groups so when we think about uh, this label data definitely we are obtaining it from the asking the questions and getting the answers from the human judgment so this data is definitely expensive to get compared to the raw unlabeled data so supervised learning uses this labeled data so the labeled data is presented to your model while training it and uh, then you will present the unlabeled data in front of that to that model so that that model can predict the labeling for that unlabeled data which leads to two types of supervised learnings one is classification and another is a regression versus unsupervised learning uses the unlabeled data as it is and tries to somehow find some kind of a pattern or the characteristics among that data and try to group it together so which again leads to two types first is the clustering and second is the associated rule learning so that's it for today's speaker sunday in the next speaker sunday we will try to explore little more about these types under the supervised and unsupervised machine learning and see how we can you know differentiate both of them before we end i am going to ask you one question as we already learned that supervised learning has some kind of a classification or uh, unsupervised learning has some kind of a clustering like a grouping so the question is whenever you visit my youtube channel 
how do you divide my videos like you know which kind of a learning do you see it fall under whether it it will fall under the unsupervised learning or whether it will fall under the supervised learning so let me know your answers in the comments and as i always say happy learning stay safe bye for now